With the Vision S system I purchased the rear camera and the side cameras for my RV and it was the best investment so far that I've made for my RV. I have absolutely no blind spots and have almost a full 360 degrees view around my trailer the rear camera's wide angle lens is amazing. Click link in description for more reviews. My only complaint which does not affect the review at all is at high speed 60 plus mile per hour there seems to be a little signal lag. I believe they make a longer antenna I will probably upgrade it if it becomes an issue but honestly I cannot complain about the system at all not only does it make me feel safer. So glad I got this for my Rockwood Roo after upgrading from a pop-up. I did not like not being able to see behind me, got this, now I see everything. Very much worth the price. Note, I thought something was wrong with it at first, but then I realized my running lights slash headlights needed to be on for the camera to operate. Mine were set to auto during initial setup. Took me a while on that but if I had known, setup would have taken 5 to 10 minutes max. Weird. Right? To get power to your camera you need enough juice to make it run. On our rig we had a pre-installed port for the camera, took out a few screws, then plugged and mounted in the housing. Plugged in cigarette lighter and now screen. Then, YouTube then found what should have been posted here, that's why I'm writing this, your welcome smiles. First turn your car on, make sure trailer adapter is plugged into your car, turn. Click link in description for more reviews. Your headlights on, manual on, then simply unplug and plug back in your display. Oh, and if you can't, get the cam right side up, there are settings that don't work too. Flip screen. Work around, mount your dash display upside down on your windshield. You are welcome. LOL. I have a 2019 Ford F250. The lights be on for the camera to work, the monitor plugs into the power point on the dash, so it always works. This lights on is not a Ford issue as it seems that the factory camera wiring in my fifth wheel may be going through the running lights rather than a dedicated hotline. Flipping the lights on and off proves my point. I chose this over the Ford system because the Ford camera is wired to the monitor and the Furion is wireless. Camera was super easy to install. My Grand Design Reflection Travel Trailer already had the Furion shark fin and power mounted to the rear of the travel trailer. The problem was that the camera would pair right away while in the cab of my 2019 Chevy Silverado using the cigarette lighter power source but once you connected the camera to the rear mount on the travel trailer the dash monitor didn't see the camera, never linked up. After numerous calls to Furion customer support, those folks were very understanding and helpful. The problem ended up being my truck because it has smart lighting and throttles back the voltage to the trailer running lights, apparently just enough so the camera isn't broadcasting a signal. Customer support said they will be coming out with an adapter cable towards the end of the year that should fix this problem specific to Chevy slash GMC trucks, all you Ford slash Dodge lovers can now say I told you so. Their other suggestion was to wire the trailer running lights directly to the battery, I know but thanks for the input. So at the end of the day it'd say the system is really good if it works on your combination tow vehicle and trailer, install this camera on my Flagstaff micro light. Installation, using the factory installed Furion mount on the back of my trailer was super easy. Pairing the camera with the trailer is much easier if you do the pairing in your tow vehicle with the camera plugged into the monitor cable. I have to say I was skeptical this camera would provide a quality image and perform without glitches but that is exactly what I have experienced after two camping trips. The Furion camera allows me to see traffic immediately behind me and in the adjacent lanes. You still have to use some judgment before changing lanes because traffic will appear somewhat farther from your trailer than they really are. Click link in description for more reviews. I put this on my new 35 travel trailer back in May when I bought it. I've since traveled for, oh 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 miles including a cross country trip as a single traveler with it installed. The only real complaint I have is that the screen displays image is flipped, what shows on the right side of the screen is actually coming up on the left of me, which has caused some trouble during travel. I can't figure out how to get the image to flip so it shows correctly so have learned to just live with it as best I can. The other complaint is I had difficulty with installing it so it stays on even when the truck lights are on auto during the day or off, or when disconnected. That's likely my own electrical install trouble, however. 
the picture does cut out when going under underpasses and can get glitchy when going 70 plus mile per hour, but overall is acceptable and still very functional. Overall this has been an extremely helpful tool, especially for a single traveler who relies on themselves for spotting, backing, and navigating tight slash high traffic areas. There are some issues, but I've found this to be more helpful than troublesome. My 2019 Cougar 5th wheel was pre-wired for this camera. Installation was as quick as 10 minutes or less. My only knock is that the instructions should indicate that headlights on tow vehicle must be on to supply power to camera. It made perfect sense once I figured it out but a simple note in the instructions would have saved me a little frustration. Once powered, the camera and monitor synced on their own and worked great. Click link in description for more reviews. Now I can back our unit into the storage shed without yelling at the wife. I am using it as a rear camera on my 27 camper towed behind my truck that is a 3 quarters ton super cab with an 8 bed, just so you know the distance I'm working with. When setting it up I didn't have to do anything special. Seriously, I powered the camera up off the pigtail on the screen power cord while sitting on the front seat of the truck and it just connected immediately. The only setting changes I made were to flip the image to a mirror image as it made more sense in my head while driving and then I also killed the audio since I'm planning on using it for security or anything like that. Picture quality is good although I think the screen's resolution could benefit from being a hair higher. I was originally going to get the 4. 3 screen but after looking at some representations between a few iPhones concluded that the 5 screen was a worthy jump for only a little more money. The camera easily mounted to the existing fin and wiring on my camper but that was expected as the RV manufacturer fits the mount that way. But anyway it works well, signal reliability is rock solid, and definitely gives you more confidence in lane changes on the road. Helpful also during parking but the road visibility was my main purpose for installing it. I love this camera, but more for driving than for backing. I use this camera for knowing there is someone behind my trailer while going down the road, and to know that I have cleared them while passing. The system doesn't reverse the picture so it's not displayed as if you were looking in your rear view mirror. In the picture, cars pass on your right because the camera is facing backwards. When backing, it is more useful to use for proximity to things behind you than for using as your sole backing view and guide. Another reason this is true is because the camera lens is a fisheye, which distorts distance judging. For real-time driving, there is also a slight delay in your view that is noticeable at interstate speeds. Passing vehicles are already up by my tow vehicle when the camera view has them at the back of your trailer. You have to learn and adjust for this. For the camera to be on while driving in the daytime, you have to turn on your park lights. Although mounted in a solid frame, the camera is adjustable for height. You can have your trailer bumper in the picture, or raise it up to see the horizon and approaching vehicles as there are multiple position and dents that hold the camera solid. Click link in description for more reviews.